I'm going to give you a little taste of things so that your readership is inspired to go and see the show. This is one of two pieces Whitfield did. And Whitfield's actually from the Bronx. So um, it's kind of a nice, uh, you know, acknowledgement of his work. Um, he's an artist who shows at DC Moore Gallery. And the center image is taken from these photographs that he buys on eBay of unknown uh, Afro-American people. And he does these loving portraits of them. Uh, so this is all hand-drawn on a lithography stone, uh, this woman, this anonymous woman. And then it's printed on a very um, uh, muted Japanese paper that's then collaged to, you can see it's white on the back, a printed paper which is printed with old time um, wallpaper. And then we actually even printed the rolls so that it would look as if it were old wallpaper to create the effect of maybe this woman had lived in this house. I, I hear you have the kind of southern mansion. And there's a companion piece called Barbados, which will be up in the show. This uh, is called Georgia. Both places are where his roots are, where his family came from. Marvelous theme, uh, morphology of the print. In other words, the transformation of the print and how artists have approached printmaking in fresh ways. I've always had that attitude. Um, my shop, Solo Impression, has always been collaborative. And I invite artists in, work with them, and create editions that I feel um, give them more opportunity. Um, and also, I have particular personal interests that I want to share with them. One of which, which is very unusual, is I do digital sewing. So I have fine art hand printing, lithography, woodcut and letterpress, and inkjet printing. But then I also work with them uh, where I sew on the print or sew on the paper, or we print on fabric. So it offers them, if they're interested in those materials, it offers the artists, you know, nice opportunities. This is a, a piece that's in the show. And this is a piece by Elaine Rychek. But this is one of the few that has um, printing. It's printed on a kind of book paper. And uh, the text is actually taken from the letters of um, Ezra Pound to his wife Dorothy, or soon-to-be wife Dorothy. And he tells her that he thinks embroidery is useless. <laughs> and she ought to paint or do other things that make more sense. And so the whole text is repeated and certain words are actually embroidered in green. And then here they are in her studio in Rapallo, Italy. I was talking before about Beryl Corret. And here's the piece that was inkjet printed. Um, and then all of this scrim here, which is very delicate, um, is all sewn. So this black cross stitch is sewn. This whole section is sewn with the gridded pattern that's on the paper. And Beryl is an artist also. Uh, see, I, I get very intrigued by their ideas. She did a lot of work on video in the 70s where she looked at the pixelation of the computer screen and she compared it to the jacquard loom, which was also computerized, which was weaving. And so she started to make weavings of the computer screens and how the refresh rate on the computer screen kind of changes the imagery. And so here it kind of reads across or refreshes as it moves us across. And I'm going to show you the back, which you wouldn't see in the show, but since you're here, I'll give you the preview of what the actual uh, workings of the piece is. You really have to spend time and let your eyes take them in 
and kind of let your mind understand what the artist is in, uh, working on uh, to get the full impact of the piece and then to have it stay with you.